and thanks for tuning in to this video. So I want to give you some backstory about what we're talking about today. And today we're going to be focusing on the difference between working with a personal stylist, which is what I am, and working with an in-store stylist. So like, you know, a stylist who works at um, any retailer across the world. Let's get into it. So first off, whenever I tell someone kind of just like randomly in the streets, um, like what I do, they're always like, okay, so what do you do? First things first, I do not do hair. A personal stylist does not do hair. I don't do any hair. My hair does normally look pretty good. So they're like, oh, okay, I get it. And I'm like, no, it's the, it's the fashion. It's the style. I work with individuals to really, really bring their style to the next level to serve their needs. Whether that means that you're trying to advance your career, you're trying to grow in your love life, your social life, maybe you're in, in a new city, you're in a new country now, you need to rebrand, maybe you've lost weight, gained weight. I mean, there's so many life changes and a lot of times people might have had trouble dressing themselves before, but you throw another monkey wrench in there like a divorce, you now have lost a hundred pounds, like you're in a bigger career, you throw in another monkey wrench in your life, which could be positive or maybe negative. And sometimes you just need professional help. And that is what I am here to do as well as my team. So let's talk about some differences between working with a personal stylist and going to a store that provides personal styling services. Okay. Number one, I'm here to serve you. Okay. So when I'm working with personal styling clients, I make it such a service for them. There are clients who live hours away from me and I get, I drive to them, I bring them all and all the best I can find in local cities to them. I am serving their needs. They might be someone who's a, a entrepreneur, owns several businesses and they have a lot of things going in their brain. The last thing they want to do is have to think about where should I shop? What time should I shop? Like they don't want to think about the logistics. So I am serving them by meeting their needs. Even if they don't live hours away, even if they live 10 minutes down the road, I'm always thinking about, okay, this would be the perfect time for Janet, for my client Janet to go shopping, or I will see certain things in stores and I will say, you know what, let's make, let's get together. We need to rework this. Let's rethink that. I am constantly finding ways to serve my clients. It's not a one and done. It's not a, okay, I rung you up and now you're all set, you're ready to go. It's something where we serve you whatever need you have. Maybe that need is just that you need someone to go through your wardrobe and tell you what's working, what's not working. Maybe you're like, Carl, I have so much clothes. You know, that's another spectrum. Maybe I have so much clothes and I don't know how to style any of it. it however it is on the mannequin, that's how I'm gonna wear it. And now I need more ideas. So whatever you really need when it comes down to your image and your styling, even getting recommendations on what to do with your hair and um, connecting you with amazing people who are going to get their whole image together. That's the difference between working with a personal stylist like me and someone who provides some styling services at a store. Okay. Another difference between working with a personal stylist and going to a store that provides personal styling is that we are going to work with your budget. Okay. So what does that mean? Okay. So sometimes you'll walk into some of these stores and they do have personal styling, but they only have specific brands that are available to them. Right? So if I go to a Nordstrom, if I go to a Macy's, if I go to even some smaller stores and boutiques, when I walk in, they only have a set list of brands that really work with that retailer. When you work with a personal stylist, I will go anywhere. I've had clients who we literally order things from England and we bring it in and like the client's like, whoa, where are these pieces from? I'm like, oh, you know, I've got a guy. You know, there's such a range. There's such a range and that comes with brands and budget, right? So I have some clients who are really, really invested in working with me and they're totally here to, to make it work when it comes to, down to their budget, but they just can't walk into a store that only has jeans that are $150 or not. They wanna have a mix. They wanna know that they can have a couple of pieces that were maybe 
$30, but they also got some shoes that were $300. And then they, then they got a purse because they love to splurge on purchase, but they, maybe they don't love to splurge on shirts because they have kids and they get dirty easily. So as a personal stylist who's not attached to any store, I can work with any brand. I can work with any price range when it comes down to what is your budget to shop with, honey? Whether we're going to Versace and Gucci, or whether we're going to Nordstrom Rack, or we're going to Marshalls, or we're going to Neiman Marcus, it doesn't matter. We can make it work. So another big difference between working with a personal stylist like myself and working with retailers and stores that have personal styling services is that piggybacking off of the last point, this is not a sales job for me, okay? Now, as a stylist, sometimes, and let you in on a little secret, Sometimes I will walk into stores and I'll overhear people talking, you know, like, oh, how much did you make today? Or what were your sales today? As a personal stylist, I am not glued to an idea that you had to spend a certain amount with me. It really doesn't matter. This is not a commission-based kind of service that I'm providing for you. And thus, you know that I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. So sometimes when you are in a commission-based position, your position, your viewpoint on how a client looks might be swayed a little bit based on if they have on a $3,000 dress or $200 dress. And you know, there are some underlying factors there. When you're working with me, it doesn't matter if you end up spending $300 on clothes that day or $30,000 on clothes that day. It's all the same. And so I have to tell you the honest truth. I'm always going to choose the pieces that just make the most sense for you. Not what makes the most sense for my pockets, for my sales, for my sales numbers, because those two things are not aligned. So I'm not pushing things on you that are a higher commission rate or like they're, they're going to get me to my numbers for the month. That doesn't exist. And so working with a personal stylist, you really get expert opinion, honest feedback, and a personal touch when it comes down to selections. Okay, another amazing difference between working with a personal stylist and going the other route, which is going to a store and working with a personal stylist, is that this is actually personal. Let me, let me talk you through this. So with a lot of my clients, number one, I meet with them at home, we go through their closet, we work together on a personal level, but I actually get to know them. I get to understand their upbringing. I get to understand their views on image and um, shopping and even money pertaining to that. I talk about so many things with them, but not only that, but we go through the journey together. I get to see their starting point. I get to see where they are in the middle level. Mid Right. I get to see where they are a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, because with so many of my clients, it's a recurring thing. We grow together. I work with them personally. I come to their birthday parties. I am part of their baby showers. I'm part of their lives in so many ways because it is personal. You really build a personal relationship, but also it's personal in the sense that I am not imposing all of my taste onto you. You know, I like to tell my clients that I'm here to make them the next level and version of themselves, not of Carla. So I'm not gonna walk in and tell you to wear this green leather top if that doesn't make sense for you and your style and what you like in your lifestyle, right? So there's a level of personalization that goes into it that is unmatched because I get to sit down with you for an hour and really just find out about you. And then we keep working together and then I find out even more. And the more and more time that goes that you work together with someone one-on-one, -on -one, of course, you get to understand them. You understand, uh, we know Janet is not gonna like that. It's way too short. Oh, you know what? Janet's gonna say it's way too tight or Jim is gonna say it's way too bright because we get to know each other over time. And that's something that you sometimes lose um, while going to a retailer because every single time you go there, there might be a different personal stylist there. 
or you know the person that's that you were working with no longer works there or isn't in that department anymore or just never got the time to really really get to know you and don't you want this experience to be personal don't you want someone to meet you where you are and not just what they think is going to work because a lot of times in stores they're going to be pushing onto you what's just trendy or what they think that you might like based on knowing you for about 20 minutes it just doesn't work that way here i love to get to know my clients first and they're always like okay so we're just gonna chat first i'm like yep we're just gonna chat first because without this this like understanding and this really really laying our cards out on the table we really can't get you the, that growth that you want and I have seen so many amazing results and so many amazing feedback from my clients, like helping clients get married, start dating again, feel the most confident they have ever felt, getting higher paying positions, going after bigger contracts, being on television. I mean, for, for us, and when I say us, I mean myself and my team, to really be able to impact people in that way is amazing. And it would never happen if we didn't go out of our way to be personal stylists who can really serve you no matter what your budget is, no matter what your size is. And that, you just can't beat it. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. I hope that I was able to break down really the big difference between working with a personal stylist and an in-store stylist so that you know how to make your decision going forward. All right, toodles. Thanks for tuning in to the newest YouTube video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, toodles.